What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to go over the survey that Blizzard released over this past weekend that referenced the Burning Crusade Classic. So quickly, first off, I'm just going to say that I, I do want TBC Classic. I think most people probably do want TBC Classic, but it's just a matter of how is it going to be implemented and when, really, at this point? Because, I mean, Classic was so successful itself that, I mean, Classic TBC was damn near a foregone conclusion. So like I said, now at this point, it's just a matter of when and how is it going to be implemented. And the survey that was released over this past weekend gives us our first glimpse of kind of where their head is at and the ideas that they've been shooting around, I guess, in the office. Uh, because they gave us about, what was it, four four different options to choose from uh, in this survey. Some good, some bad. But let's let's go over them before, before I get into anything else. Let's just go over the survey questions and then we'll take it from there. All right, so here we go. Thinking about the potential ways a player could start a character in Classic Burning Crusade, which of the following would you prefer most? Option A, the highlighted one. Continue playing my current Classic character on my existing server as it progresses through the Burning Crusade expansion. While the option, or with the option to transfer to a Classic server that will never progress past level 60. Now, overall, out of these four options, that one is probably the best. Um, but anyway, option B is continue playing my current character on my existing server that will never progress past level 60 with the option to transfer to a Burning Crusade server. That one's also pretty good. Now, these two, not, uh, not so much. Uh, to, but anyway, start a brand new character from level 58 on a new Burning Crusade server, or D, start a brand new character from level 1 on a Burning Crusade server. Fuck no. Nobody wants to do that. And just, ex I mean, for one, that completely, uh, the, no changes. I'm sorry, but when the TBC expansion came out, I didn't have to start from scratch, all right? If I made a new character, I'd start a level one. But no, nah, I just kept playing my characters, and I, I, I went through the dark portal, and I did my thing. I didn't start from scratch on level one. It's not, a, it's not an entire new game. And I, so I think that is just... That's the worst decision they could possibly make in this situation, in my opinion. Now, here at start a brand new character from level 58 on a new Burning Crusade server, not the worst idea, assuming the fact that, I mean, that kind of implies that the Burning Crusade server would be completely separate from the classic servers. So classic servers would stand and stay as they are. All your progression is still there. And then you'll log into a Burning Crusade server start a character level 58 and just now you can go play tbc i don't like that just because what was the point of for the people who are playing through classic i know like the, the point of classic was to play classic but again what's the point of you essentially everybody losing all their character progression that they made on classic wow if you're going to release tbc but your only option is to start a character at level 58 i don't think that would make anybody happy whereas it's a better solution than the first one I don't like the idea of just losing all my progress. Like, so the, the ideas for option A and B to where you can kind of have it both ways to a degree, like B, continue playing my current classic character on my existing server that will never progress past 60. That's fine. So you can stay there. You stay, keep playing classic WoW. And if you want, you can transfer. I mean, I don't know. Uh, does it, it doesn't really dictate how many characters you could transfer over, so this would be beneficial for, I guess, people who have multiple alts in Classic. So I guess you could choose one of your characters to transfer over to TBC and then keep your other characters on Classic WoW. So, I mean, that's a decent option. I still don't personally like that option all that well. That's so why I really think option A in the situation that they've presented, in the survey anyway, continue playing your current Classic character on my existing server as it progresses to TBC with the option to transfer to a classic server, that's a better option. Out of these four, that, that's, like I said, that is the best one because then you're essentially saying that all the servers that we're playing on right now, they are going to be TBC servers, okay? That's just what's going to happen. So when that comes out, they've been upgraded to TBC. You can keep playing it. Cool. You can keep all your characters there and just move on. But if you don't want to, then they're going to give you an option to transfer your characters off of those servers to standalone classic servers. That's a better option. That doesn't lock people into TBC. It doesn't make people start over in TBC. It doesn't make people have to like move their character over to TBC and never be able to play classic again with a character like that. So I feel like that is a better option, but I don't understand how... This is, let, me, let, me, let me hit you with this, okay? 
I feel like this is the easiest solution to anything ever it, when it comes to Classic WoW and TBC coming out, okay? These options suck. The players have to lose something with every one of those options. What I think they should do, and I don't know why this isn't just how they're doing it and why they have to survey people to get an idea of what they should do. Now, I might be completely fucking crazy about this. I may, not be, I may be overlooking something. I may not. I don't know. But just hear me out here because what I think is the most obvious and best solution for CBC coming out is just a one-to-one -one copy of every server on a t onto a TBC server. Okay, so you'd have Classic WoW here, okay? You got all your characters. TBC comes out, we'll say May 1st, okay? So come May 1st, they're going to act they're going to turn on TBC. When that happens, all your characters that you have played throughout Classic WoW, they're now on the TBC servers, okay? But it's they're separate. They're still separate. So you can turn you can boot up your battle net thing and you click Classic WoW, there'll also be an option to click Classic TBC. If you click on Classic TBC, all your characters and all your progress all the progress you made in Classic WoW is there. You can just go play TBC with Everything you just did in Classic WoW. That's how the game was when it first came out. You were playing Classic WoW. You're just playing vanilla. All of a sudden, the expansion comes out. Fucking install it, and you just keep fucking playing. You don't have to start a new character. You don't have to transfer someone over. Blah, blah, blah. That's just the most obvious solution, in my opinion. And now, the only things I can think of that would kind of conflict with that in any sort of way is just the population. But the population is going to take a hit no matter what. Classic WoW's population is going to take a dive, just like Retail's population took a dive when Classic came out. TBC, when it comes out, it's going to be the new thing. A lot of people are going to go play it, even people who primarily just want to play Classic in the end. Like, maybe they don't want to play TBC hardcore, but I can guarantee you they'll still, they'll still play it. And I know they would, especially, in my opinion, anybody who would have any inkling of wanting to play TBC would be far more inclined to play if they didn't lose everything they did on Classic and they weren't locked into all the stuff they just did in Classic automatically rolling into TBC. That's going to turn a lot of Classic players off because there's just a lot of people who just want to play Classic WoW. So, I don't know. I just... I guess resources and the server population, it would be the only real thing I can think of that would impact them doing a one-to-one -one transfer, but, or not, not, not a transfer. I'm sorry. A one-to-one -one copy of everything, but you're, they're going to have to deal with that no matter what, just like they had to deal with the classic population. It was just so overwhelming. I mean, I know you guys have to remember the eight hour queues just to get into some servers. Like it, there's going to be population problems no matter what. So it's just hard for me to wrap my head around them doing anything other than just the one-to-one -one copy over and then just they, they fucking adapt. You know, if they got a, if, if not enough care, if, if they do a, if they copy Feralina, all right, just how it is over to TBC. I was throwing that example out there. So if they're going to use that, okay, if only 10% of players keep playing TBC on the Feralina server, then just merge that server into another one. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just make the server, like, I don't know. It's just, what do you guys think here? Help help me out. What is the better option? Because I, I, I don't, I just feel like it's a very easy thing to do. You just make an exact copy of everything, how it is in Classic, and then you put, it's right there on TBC, so you can just you can boot up either one. You can keep playing your every character that you made on Classic, and just turn on B TBC and just continue playing that character through TBC. And then if you don't want to play TBC anymore, you can still just go back and keep playing your Classic character. Just make them two separate things. But at, at, at like some point, like let's say, like I said, May first, bam. There's a they can make an announcement, say, okay, everybody, we're gonna come May first. Everything that you everything you've done up to that point is going to be copied over to the TBC server. So do whatever you want. Nothing's gonna happen to your classic characters. They're still going to be there come TBC launch, but everything up to May 1st, that's gonna be the state that your character will be in come TBC launch. Okay. I think that's the best one, play, way to do it. Then anybody can keep playing Classic. People can go play TBC. Then they can deal with the server population shit as the time comes. I mean, that's just is what it is. I don't, I don't see any other 
better way of doing that. And then for people to have more incentive to actually play TBC, because I know there's probably, there's a lot of people out there who didn't play Classic WoW. There's a lot of people who have been really only wanting to play TBC and even Wrath of the Lich King. Okay, so the level boost to level 58, I still think is actually a good idea. I think they should do that on one condition. If it's your first character being made, like if you turn, if you boot up TBC Classic and you go onto a server where you have zero characters, then you should be able to have a boosted character, just one, right? And then I also think they can maybe even do something to where, say people gave up playing, there's a ton of people, like especially Alliance players on Feralina, just gave the fuck up, okay? They just quit playing and they never even hit 40, maybe never even hit 30, all right? So I'd say anybody who maybe doesn't have a character at level 40, okay? If you if you have zero character level 40, maybe even if the boost level is going to be 58, if you don't have a character at 58, you get to boost one of your characters to 58. Just one, you get to boost. And then additionally, keep the level boost there for new new TBC players, people who ha don't have any characters. So when they... If, and even just, not just for new people, maybe if you just switch servers, okay? So you just go to a new server where you have zero characters um, from your classic WoW, like you know, all the characters got copied over, then you should still be able to level boost at that point as long as you don't have any characters there. So I guess essentially a free level boost to level 58 on any server for one character, as long as you don't have one past 58, then I think that's a good idea. That would get that would give new players incentive to actually jump into TBC, and then it would also give old classic players who never got a chance to actually progress to the higher levels of classic to actually be able to jump in and start playing TBC pretty much right away because they could boost one of their old characters, have some sort of reward for playing classic. You know, they get to keep that character, and then it gets boosted to fifty eight, and they can just keep playing. I think that's a I think that's the best way of doing that. I mean, I don't see any problem with that. They was just have to limit it to definitely people who don't have, like if it's limited, if the level boost is limited to one per server, and if you already have a level 60, if they do the copy, like I said, and just have them both running in tandem, then if you have a level 60, you're, you don't need a boost. You're just going to keep playing through. It doesn't matter. But the level boost for new players and anybody who didn't get a level 60 in Classic, I think, I see no problem with that. I think that's good. So I think when it comes down to it, kind of a combination of all of these options is really the best way to go. You know, the, the, like I said, the first one is more, is closer to what I think they should do and just doing the one-to-one -one copy of your classic account over to your uh, TBC account and you can just play either one just and they just keep going. They're just running in parallel. So that way you don't have to go and play TBC if you don't want to and you still have your classic character and, and vice versa. You just they're there, right? And they can just, they're going to have to adapt to the server population problems no matter what. And so will players. Players are going to have to adapt. There's going to be people who stop playing. Like classic, uh, a lot of guilds in classic are going to die when TBC comes out. And the best way to limit that is to just keep the classic servers up and running. If they, if they make people transfer their characters completely off of classic just to play TBC, then those guilds are just dead. And a ton of people who only wanted to play classic aren't going to have anybody to play with because their their guildmates just left and they can't come back. They kept everything up and running in tandem, then they don't lose anything. Everybody could go play TBC. You can get up to level seventy, do all your raids, and then when you're done, you could hop back on classic and keep doing all your shit that you were doing on classic. Nothing changes. No changes, right? I mean, that's that's the most obvious solution i feel like and i don't know why i haven't seen anybody talking about that i haven't obviously blizzard isn't talking about that like their options are close to that but i don't know i just feel like that was obvious but anyway what what, what but what what do you guys think okay am i crazy is that too much is there gonna be is like i just don't see any downsides to that being the case like i feel like what other option is there and any other option just makes uh, uh, players lose something, right? Like you, if you have to move off of the server to go play TBC, you lose something. If you have to start from scratch, you lose fucking everything. And who, who the fuck is gonna wanna? Who's gonna wanna start from level one and go all the way up to seventy? No one's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that.
Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody. Like, I'm not, I, I have, if they made it to where I had to start from scratch in TBC, I'm not playing. I don't, ha I, I do not, personally do not have time for that. And I would love to play TBC. I love TBC. TBC was great, okay? But no, dude, I'm not starting level one. Maybe start at 58, that'd be fine. But I'd still rather play all my classic characters instead of a new one. Like, what's well, just going to make another another mage and just play it. I don't want to do that. It's like, I already have my retail characters that are separate from my classic characters, which makes sense because they're completely different games. TBC is an extension of classic, so you should just be able to keep fucking playing. But since classic is its own thing, keep it its own thing. Make TBC its own thing, but copy everybody, everybody's characters over and let them run in parallel. That is the most obvious and peaceful solution to everything. All right, and I'm sorry. It's getting hot in here right now. Ooh, this is a, a heated discussion. Heated. But anyway, guys, so what do you think? Let me know. Is, is, am I overlooking something? Is this, a, is this is that a terrible idea? I don't know. What do you guys think? Any Is there any downside to it? Are you guys looking forward to TBC? Do you even want TBC? Are you just going to keep playing Classic regardless and say, I don't want Did you ever want TBC to begin with? Some people don't. Some people don't know. But anyway, let, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm Rob Bifo. This is Honest Uneducated. Take care.